Welcome back to more Pokemon Alpha Sapphire, everybody. So last time we uh, made it up here, we actually rescued and even obtained a Latias, which was incredibly surprising, honestly. But uh, yeah, so we finished up with that. And now it's time to go ahead and find my freaking super repels and use them. Okay. Let's keep going. Alright, so let's see here. There's a dude. I want to fight you, damn it. In the meantime, while this battle loads, I guess I'll go ahead and grab one of my candy here. Because uh, for today, I actually brought some um, Hershey's. Hershey's white chocolate shit. It's not white chocolate shit, but you know what I mean. Man, I love white chocolate. Like, I know it's, I think, the least good for you from all three. Like, white, normal, and dark. I've even heard that, like, dark chocolate can actually be good for you. Kind of. I don't know if that's completely true. I mean, if it is, you can feel free to let me know. But I feel like it's not. Mmm. Delicious. Sorry about all this munching. I'm just... I have this chocolate craving, you know? You know, every time I do this, like when I'm eating during a recording, or when I'm saying something really stupid, I'm like, this is the most unprofessional job ever. I mean, like, for me, I can hardly call it a job. Because it's essentially a part-time job, and it's even less than the typical part-time job that I'm making. But like, imagine a freaking million subscriber channel doing this. They're like eating, on like being all like, oh no, no, like eat. I'm like, what the heck? Like, honestly, it's really funny. It seriously is, and it's because, like, technically it's a job because people do it as a full-time job. YouTube, but then I'm like, dude, this is like the most unprofessional job ever. The fact that they're doing like this. Watch, I'm gonna eat another piece. So guys, how have you been? How have you been? Pretty good, right? Mm-hmm. You see what I'm talking about? Like, that just looks so unprofessional. Alright, so... Fairy Cutter. What? Did this move get buffed up? Dude, like, almost every single freaking move... Got buffed up. Bug Bite, um... Let's replace Fury Cutter. I swear to god that that move was, like, less powerful initially. And I thought it also had 90 accuracy, not 95. I might be tripping, but... Whatever. Alright, so we just beat that guy. I'm just gonna go and... Wait, okay, so I beat you. Wait, who the hell are you? Oh, shit, I can barely see these people. It was actually easier to see them in the... In the game when they were shorter people, which would be Gen 3. Bug catcher, whatever. Alright, Volbeat. That is a Volbeat right there. Bug flying or something, or maybe just bug, I don't know. Um, I can just do this. I'm running out of rock slide, damn it. I have to save my rock slides for like pelopers and stuff. Not bugs. Because bugs, I mean, even though rock is super effective, a surf can kill them. Whereas pelopers will resist, you know? Recover? Hell yeah, well, let's see. The user emits a healing pulse which restores the target's HP by up to half of its max HP. What do you mean, up to? Restoring its own cells, the user restores its own HP by half. Okay, so the difference is that Heal Pulse can target an ally, from what I can see in this description. It says the targets. That one does not. But Recover is a guaranteed half, whereas Heal Pulse is not? I'm not sure what that's implying. It says up to. Honestly, I don't know which is better, but people say Recover is one of the best healing moves ever, which is why, because it's consistent. So I'm just going to replace Heal Pulse with Recover. If that was the stupidest move I've ever done in Pokemon history, then let me know. Leave a comment and be like, Shiny, you are the biggest dumbass ever, and just tell me, okay? Honestly, I don't know what the hell Heal Pulse does. Like, if you... I don't know, if you ask me, I'm going to be like, I don't know, it heals? That's, that would be my guess, and it does, but, like, what I'm saying is that I don't know the specifics. Is basically what I'm saying. Let me grab another Hershey's white chocolate piece. Oh my god. These damn things, man. Someone get them away from me. If only one of you could actually come to my house right now. And just take this away from me right now. Because this is an addiction. This is bad. So delicious. So delicious. Okay, here's an item. 
That is a max repel. Another trainer. Okay, awesome. Hopefully I can get to 4 tree in this video. I'm pretty sure I can. I'm for sure not going to fight the gym leader, that's for sure. And the main reason why is because even even once you make it to 4 tree, you can't initially fight in the gym leader. Because you have to, like, go beyond the city for a little bit. Alright, good fly down. Man, you know what I'm noticing? Like, I first played this game over Pokemon Moon or even X and Y because I wanted to learn some stuff about Gen 6 and I'm actually finding out that I'm not learning all that much. I'm only learning some of the new moves and that's very few because I know the majority of these moves that are appearing. I really do. What the fuck is that? I don't know what that was. Like, I don't know, man. Because for one, there's no new Pokemon. They're still staying true to the Gen 3 Pokemon, you know? They're not putting any new ones, like not even Gen 4 or anything. So I'm not gonna know shit about Gen 5 or 6 once I play Pokemon Moon. Like, what the heck? Like, seriously. Like, I did promise that I was gonna play Pokemon Sun and Moon next to people already. And I'm gonna stay true to that promise, but if I hadn't promised, I would have been like, hmm, maybe I should play Pokemon Black or White, and then Black 2 or White 2, and then X and Y, and then Pokemon Sun and Moon. Okay, like, what the hell is this? This is the new move right here. The user attacks his target by encircling it in his sharp leaves. Decent move. Psy Beam power, Bubble Beam power, like, only 90 accuracy, has the benefit of lowering accuracy. Magical Leaf is better in my opinion, because it never misses, it's guaranteed, um, for 5 more power? But I mean, Sweet Scent is a shitty move, so I'm just gonna get rid of Sweet Scent. There you go. Even though I'm not a fan of Leaf Tornado. Alright, well, let's see, so, uh, there's... I thought there were two items in this grass, though. Oh wait, I already beat you? Okay, there's only this guy left. Dude! Where the hell am I at? There we go. Mimic Circle. Okay. Oh my god. Not Spring. I don't think you ever see a Masquerade in the original Ruby and Sapphire. Not counting the Battle Tower. Bug flying? I think Surf can still kill it. Because like I was saying, the part of the reason why Masquerade is not seen all that much, I mean, it's rare, but it's also real shitty in stats. And actually, it survived. Unbelievable. Wow. Speed harshly fell, which means they're gonna outspeed me. Out no! I didn't mean to do that! Really? I should have used Rock Slide. This battle would have been over a long time ago, unless you missed. Yeah, I didn't mean to- oh, I was gonna actually select Muddy Water, but then I was like, why? What's the point of that? Just use Surf. Okay, at least I bypassed Paralysis twice. That was the lucky part of the battle. Okay. A second- oh, shoot. Okay, Ninjask is not gonna be able to survive a Surf, no doubt about that. Screech. Oh, God. Okay, it worked. You're dead. I was like, if you miss, he's actually gonna do some pretty decent damage. If he uses a stab, bug, or flying or something. Because I just got my defense lowered by two stages. Nice, nice. Look at that. Slash. No, because you already know strength. Okay, there we go. I'm not close to any healing places, which means I have to use a Paralyzed Heal. God damn it. Okay, Paralyzed Heal, where you at? What? Shit. Alright, Cherry Berry, where you at? Okay. I'm also running fairly low on PP, and that was one of the biggest issues that I was telling all of you guys, you know? About how 
If you're only using one Pokemon, one of the bigger issues that you run into is that, which means you have to use PP up on the moves that you know for a fact you're gonna keep forever. That'll essentially give you more, you know, just more options. Oh, shoot. Breloom? Whoa. This is interesting. Especially if he has a physical grass move, because that's gonna do massive damage. Breloom has 130 base attack. I used to, well, because like if he uses Megatrain, it's not gonna do all that much. But if he has like Seed Bomb or some shit, oh my god, that's gonna probably one-shot me. He resists all three. I didn't know there was a Pokemon type matchup that could resist all three types. He does. Um, my best bet would be Surf. That'll do the most damage. Hopefully... What did you just do? Okay, I don't know what the fuck that was, but okay. That mash does you fast. Do at least have damage. Damn it. I'm gonna use uh, Rock Slide. Try to make you flinch. Oh wait, no, you are outspeeding me. How are you outspeeding me? Brillum is not that fast. And you're 14 levels be below me. <laughs> what? 15, sorry. Hold- oh, it's faint. That's- Okay, that was that one move that never worked in Gen 4. Every time I use it, it would never work. And, like I was saying in a past video, it might be because it didn't describe it well. Because I think it's kind of like Sucker Punch, how Sucker Punch fails if the opponent is not preparing an, like an attacking move. But the thing is, Sucker Punch details that in the description, that it fails. Whereas for faint, it doesn't say that. Uh, no. Your trainer? Fly? Okay, um... Let's enter this house. Sure, why not, right? What the hell? Oh! You are so nice, woman. Thank you. What about you? Cave of Origin, yeah, that's where you actually fight, um, Grudon or Kyogre. You know that I used to call Kyogre Kyogre when I was a, a kid? I kid you not, people, I kid you not. Uh-oh. Oh, really? No encounter? Wow, I got lucky. I was like, shoot, my repel wore off, like, once I was inside the grass. Also, why do you get out of your bike when you pick up berries in this game? That doesn't happen in Gen 3. I guess because they want to for sure make you see the animation or something. I don't know. Okay, so these things can only be um, ridden by a bike, but this here can only be um, traversed by the acro bike. Once I figure out how to do this shit, hold on. Wait, how do you... There we go. Simply um, up and B at the same time or down and B to get back. But what's over here? Let's see. Um, There's nothing here. There's an indent, that's bullshit. Uh, let's go ahead and use a super repel. Okay. Dude, this is just... Are you freaking kidding me? What a pointless... Acrobite. There we go. And then that's pointless too. The only way to keep traversing is by going up this way. Are you freaking kidding me? Secret power? Maybe. Oh shit, double battle. Okay. My last three pieces of candy, I shall eat them during this battle. Okay, well not all three in this battle, that's that's a little overkill. You know what's- oh my god, the other thing that I didn't mention. What's crazy is that I also have a sour worm addiction. Yesterday I actually ate an entire bag of sour worms. And every time I do it, I, I feel sick. Like, I have a minor stomach ache. And then I'm like, I'm never gonna do it again. And then- Oh my god. I just... I'm the biggest hypocrite ever. Biggest dumbass. Okay. Let's see how much... Let's see if I can kill them a choke. I don't think I will. Oh, no, no, never mind. Use Reflect. Nope. I'm not gonna kill the Dabber, even. At least I made you flinch, though. That's good. Um, I want a mud shot, the machoke, then. I 
should be enough to kill. Is Latias really that fast, though? Holy crap. You're freaking 14 levels below uh, Swampert. You have 96 speed. What the hell? Okay, you're down. Stupid Reflect. Yeah, a Reflect and Light Screen, they're actually really good. They have to damage. Uh, physical and Special, respectively. But then again, there's a move called Brick Break. The thing is, it's not too powerful, so it doesn't really see that much use in competitive battling. But it's still cool. Let's talk about all this eating people. Detector mode in the Dex Nav. I haven't really used that, honestly. I have not. Um... Well, I think it's a mock bike. Damn. You can't traverse that. Okay, first of Viper we see. So Viper is a pure poison type, which means that ground works. And you are down. Awesome. Who's next? Let me get Zangoose. Bestow? Uh, what the hell is this? The user passes its held item to the target when the target isn't holding an item. Interesting. I'm not going to do it, though. That's pretty cool. Okay, um, I'm gonna use Sir for you. Oh shit. Stupid endures. Oh yeah, by the way, fun fact here guys. I um I actually bought Pokemon Hard Gold today. The thing is I only bought the cartridge. And I generally hate doing that because like, I'm a part collector, and I like to have the entire case, but I guess for some of these DS games, it is so difficult to find a complete set. Like, for some reason, the freaking people just lose the case or whatever, and that's... God damn it. And the thing is, hard gold and soul silver are so pricey. This thing cost me $45. It's pretty ridiculous, but... <sighs> what are you gonna do, right? What are you gonna do? PP Max? I'm doing it right now. I'm doing it on Surf. I'm never thinking that that's going to be stupid, but trust me. Trust me, people. If I'm doing like a starter only run, oh man. Surf. They should have given me 24 PP. I'm too lazy to go to the menu and find out right now. I'm just going to wait for the next battle. You know what? Sure, let's use another super build because I'm lazy with that as well. Dude, are you kidding? I didn't see that path. That was a little shortcut there. Oh, that's a fake-ass person over there. That's a ninja. They don't actually spot you in this game, though. And the other one, if you walk in front of it, they, they spot you. And this one, they don't. Okay. Alright, so that's a coughing. Gotta use Surf. And that should be a one-shot kill, because like I said, coughings are known to have um, high... Defense, but low special defense. Really? That's it? Okay. Alright, so I'll put it over there. I'm just gonna go over this way. Come on, trainer. Battle me. The true potential of bird Pokemon? Okay. I'll just rock slide them to death. Or Surf. Surf works fine. Oh, I didn't even see how much PB I had for Surf. Dude. I just ignored it. Alright, how much do you got? It should be 24. Yep. I was saying it should be because you never know if more mechanics can change. But with 24 uses of serve, that's gonna make me in a pretty good position to just be sweeping through shit even easier and without having to burn ethers until the Elite Four. Alright. Another one, oh my god. So many trainers, but hey, it's good because that means so many awesome stuff. By awesome stuff, I mean experience, pretty much. And money. 
Okay, Swallow. He's gonna outspeed me, no doubt about that, but I'll use Surf. Or not. How did a freaking level 31 Kadabra outspeed me, but not a- Dude, doesn't Swallow have more base speed than Kadabra? I could have sworn that was the case. I guess not. Like, I guess not, man. Okay, that's a mock bike shortcut, basically. Uh, nothing over here, nothing there. That is the Weather Institute thing. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I guess we'll just enter. Let's enter the Weather... Is it called the Weather Institute, really? Yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, no, do not use one. I think I can use these beds, yep, to heal up again. Yeah, so actually I'm not going to make it to Fortune because I completely forgot about the Weather Institute. It's a little side thing that you have to do. But if there was no Weather Institute, I think I would make it because all I would have to do is fight May, and then I'll be pretty much there at Fortree. Like maybe just two more trainer battles or something, but there's really not that much after the Weather Institute. Because I'm already at 21 minutes, there's no way I'm going to be able to do this. Okay, Mighty Anna, he does Intimidate, that lowers my attack by one point. Again, when I say point in terms of stat changes, I mean one stage. Sometimes I use point and stage interchangeably, and I know I shouldn't be doing that because it's technically stage, the more official word. <sighs> but sometimes I just can't help it, you know? Like, I just can't help it. And you're dead. You know what I should teach my Marsh Tom for the fourth move? Ice Beam. But that's only if Kyogre doesn't come with it. If Kyogre comes with Ice Beam... No wait, sorry, with it I meant. If Kyogre comes with Ice Beam, I can teach Ice Beam to Marsh Tom. I meant Swampert, god damn, why do I keep saying Marsh Tom? I'm a freaking idiot. Yeah, but if Kyogre doesn't come with Ice Beam, I might have to teach... Wait a minute, no, I'm an idiot again. Didn't, starting in Gen 5, TMs become infinite uses? Holy shit, I'm an idiot. God damn it. I, this just shows you how bad I am at Pokemon, like, up to date. Like I said, I know everything from Gens 1 through 4, but Gen 5 and later? Oh my god, I am like... Ridiculous. Ridiculously bad sometimes. Like seriously, the last minute and a half of me talking is just pure stupidity. Like, just go ahead and re rewind the video again, a minute and a half, and just listen to all the nonsense that was blabbering. God damn it. Okay, so that's two guys down there. There's actually... what the hell? Is it really this short? The weather. I thought there was like three floors. Curse you! The precious results of my research. Give them back! Shut your mouth. Did you just slap him? I heard a slap sound. What the hell? Okay. I must fight you dudes. Freaking Team Aqua, or I should say fucking Team Aqua. I can't believe my freaking Swampert is already level 47, people. Like, this is insane. Isn't the highest level in the Elite Four 58? This is crazy. Like, I've only done five badge dungeons, and there's still so much shit. Like, af like all the routes after Fortree, all the way to Lily Cove, there's so much- All the water routes? There's so much water, there's still all the water between Slateport and Dewford and Mr. Briny's Cottage. There's still the Team Aqua base. Uh, there's still even more routes that I can take after, um... Or, like, on the way to, uh... Like, the Evergrande, I mean, Evergrande City. And there's the optional route, where the freaking Pacific Log Town is, or whatever the hell it's called, I don't know. Yeah, there's just so much, there's simply so much to do, that my freaking Swamper is gonna be, oh my god, I don't even know what level, but... That's gonna be insane. What's a kid doing here? That's a good question. It's funny how all the Pokemon protagonists are always kids. And they pretty much destroy the most evil organizations. Are they trying to give a message to kids of like, stop the evil? I don't know. Rock slide. I don't know why I did rock slide. I, I would have been okay with a surf, but whatever. 
And Golbat is down. Victor, level 28. And I beat you. You. Oh my. I even run into you when I'm not on the clock. I wonder why that is. Maybe we're destined to be together. What the hell? What the hell? Dude, she was totally hitting on me right now. She totally was. Like, I'm not delusional, right? You can agree with me in the comments. Or disagree, if you want, but... I'm telling you people she was flirting. Okay, Sharpedo, the best way to take on this guy would be Mud Shot. I don't think this will be a one-shot kill. Nope, that's what I thought. Scary face. Okay, just so I don't miss, I'm going to do a Surf. Whoa! Oh shoot, that's not good. Then again, he just completely buffed up my Rock Slide by doing that. Hmm. Uh oh. Oh, okay. Alright. Wait. That's it? Why do so many trainers only have one Pokemon in this game? Even the tough battles. That is so weird. The world will truly begin return to its beginnings. To before the birth of anything at all. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, then there's still that whole Mount Pyre thing that I completely forgot about. Oh my god. You okay there, mate? That truly was a slap in the face. Those thieves. Huh. Ooh. What are you gonna give me? It's, it's gonna be that freaking cast form. Same thing. Kyogre. The mighty Kyogre, people. Primal Reversion. Primal Kyogre. Primal Reversion is a possible form of evolution. Like, and yet not like Mega Evolution. Okay. Interesting. I mean, I do know that something weird happens to Gordon and, Ky and Kyogre in this version, not in the original. Ruby and Sapphire. Are you freaking kidding me? Guess I must switch. Guess I must switch. Okay. Let's put something that we don't need. Let's go ahead and deposit. Mm, you know strength. I don't actually know this. You know what? Go ahead and deposit you. And then you as well. Yeah. Because I'm about to get a free Pokemon. It's actually a free cast... Dude, what am I doing? A free cast form. I think. I think so. Yes. Um, sure. Let's go ahead and, um, put... There, that's good. So about all these stupid names, people. They're, they're kind of random, I know. Yeah, so Castform is a Pokemon that, well, it changes with the weather. What do you have? Mystic Water. It's also level 30? I thought it was... Maybe... What the hell? Rain Dance, Sunny Day, Hail, and Weather Ball. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. It can basically change the weather. Um, the only one that I, I don't think I can change to would be Sandstorm. I don't think there's a Sandstorm cast form.
I'm going to put you back in there. Well, not back in there, I mean for the first time. So I'm keeping Tropius because, well, I'm sure you can use Strength, right? Actually, let's, let's take a look at that. Because who can actually use Strength? Now that I got rid of my Vigoroth... Oh, look! You can actually use it. The thing is, you already know a couple of things, though. Cut, Rock Smash. I mean, I could give it to you, sure. There we go. And that's pretty much it. Wait, let me talk to you. Let me talk to you. What? That was lucky. That was lucky, I swear to God. I just talked to one person. And he gave me that. Like, that's so damn funny. Okay, whatever. Oh, who the hell just... Oh, somebody left a comment. Okay. I'll just keep running this way. Because why not, right? What's down here? Okay, why don't I... Am I not using my bike, man? Seriously? Use the bike. Alright, so. If you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like. I would appreciate that very much. Thank you, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye, everyone.